The owners of the Weeboard 21 Center are moving forward with their plans to develop a hotel immediately south of that venue. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. I'm Scott Miller, filling in for Ryan Murphy. Thank you very much for joining me. In our top story, the Garing City Planning Commission will hold a public hearing next month on a redevelopment plan to develop a hotel on the 10th Street property that formerly held Rich's Wrecking. Lisa and Troy Weborg's plan for the property includes renovating the existing building for hotel offices and a lobby, a conference room, ballroom, and shops, with a 32-room hotel containing eight suites for extended stays to be constructed on the west side that would complement the Weborg 21 Center. I'm not looking for the industrial side of the, new, the old building. I want to glam it up a little bit. So more like a boutique type hotel, more like, I don't want to use the word Hollywood glam, but just bringing some of that, um, make it more of an experience, you know, a destination a hotel for them to come to. Lisa Weborg says one may think the corridor is too industrial, but one of the things most striking about the site is the view. The view is probably the best one that you can get on any of the businesses here. The old, tr you know, the train goes through. It's just, it's a great view no matter what time of the day. So with the hotel being in the back side of the existing building, all of those rooms, which is approximately, I think, 15 of those rooms will be looking out at our monument. She says the $7 million development is a significant undertaking and will need more than $820,000 in tax increment financing to make the project possible. Weborg says she intends on adding plenty of greenery, such as trees, to the 10th Street side, something she says is somewhat lacking north of the UP railroad tracks. The Planning Commission is scheduled to take up the redevelopment plan during a November 5th meeting. Well, Halloween is this Thursday, and if you're a little uncomfortable about having your children going door to door, or if you want to help them double up on candy opportunities, look no further than downtown Scotts Bluff. Starting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Halloween, the Downtown Scotts Bluff Association will be hosting Trick or Treat Street. Kids can go to participating businesses in their costumes during the waning daylight hours to get their trick-or-treating in a safe environment. New this year will be Trunk or Treat at the 18th Street Plaza, providing an additional outlet for costume-clad children to enjoy Halloween fun. Trick or Treat Street is scheduled to run until 6 o'clock Thursday evening. Well, I'm not sure if it's a trick or a treat, but Bill Boyer has your full week weather forecast coming up right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life, and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant and full service gas leader. Meet Toberfest, the famous once a year sandwich celebration of all things beer, cheese, mustard, and pretzel roll now happening all over the world in America in Arby's. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Well, another cold night out there. Temps are going to fall and Yes, snow is coming into our forecast again tonight, especially overnight, somewhere between this 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. time frame is when we're going to see snowfall start to develop and continue throughout the day tomorrow. So another shot, reinforcing shot of cold air on the way 
More snow coming as well. It's going to be heaviest this time in southern areas. We'll pick on some different areas today, uh, but moderating temps by the end of the week. 30 after a low of 20. We just sit there and sputtered all day yesterday. Uh, about uh, normal high is or normal low is 29. Our high was 30. Didn't really move much out there. We had a few hundredths of an inch of moisture in the rain gauge thanks to some snow. Uh, a little bit uh, below normal for the month. We'll probably add some more to that here over the next 24 hours or so. Speaking of temperatures, they are cold out there right now. It was 10 below zero earlier this morning in Laramie. They're at 14 now, 30 in North Platte, 30 in Hastings. That cold air has invaded all of the region, including our area. Uh, Valentine is at 35, Mullen is at 33. Those are the two lone areas above the freezing mark. 21 right now up in Lusk. Winds are out of the southwest, 5 to 15, but that's making those wind chills feel even colder. Well, we do have a few things to show you here. We do have winter weather advisories. That's in this purple shaded areas. Winter storm warnings are primarily here in the high country of northern Colorado. Winter weather advisories cover all of eastern portions of Wyoming. Then as you get into the Nebraska Panhandle, it's Sioux, Scotts Bluff, Banner, Kimball, Morrill, Cheyenne, Garden, and Duell counties. And then further to the east areas like Arthur through uh, Tryon, and then further to the south, Ogallala, North Platte along that IED corridor. Those areas under winter weather advisories as well as adjacent areas of northeastern Colorado. That's the area most under the gun for snow. And it's going to be late to form as we show you future cast tonight. It's really going to take a bit for the snow to get here and moisten up things by about uh, sunrise tomorrow. Things are going to get going and uh, pay attention tomorrow where those heavier bands of snow set up because that's really going to dictate how much snow we end up with. Five tonight in Lusk, seven in Wheatland, five in Cheyenne. There's the colder temps just to the northwest uh, and western portions of our area. Don't worry, though, if you didn't get the snow tonight, it's coming. Here is your morning drive commute tomorrow. Snow developing all across the region. It's going to be ongoing across a large portion of the area. This is noon. Take you through the afternoon hours. Snow still continues, maybe trying to briefly decrease in some intensity. And I say briefly because another band looks like it'll be moving here uh, through the late evening and then early overnight hours as we go into Wednesday, then the system is going to slowly pull away from us as we go into Wednesday afternoon and evening and leave us with drying conditions. These are highs tomorrow, 12 in Lusk, 10 in Cheyenne tomorrow. That's all low 20s, upper teens for us here in the Panhandle, maybe to near 30 uh, in the far eastern portions of our area. So what are we looking at for snow? Well, that's a great question. Here's our snowfall forecast over the next 36 hours. You can see the heavier areas here, these darker blue shaded areas. And again, that's a narrow, thin band. And where that sets up right now, it's showing just south of the North Platte River with areas along the North Platte River, possibly getting a bit more in the way of snowfall. It totals up right now. We're showing 7 to 10 inches from Ogallala over to Sydney. That's certainly more than the National Weather Service is forecasting. They're forecasting a general 2 to 4 inch snowfall. And I think a lot of us in that advisory area are going to end up with two to four inches, but there certainly is a possibility of a small band of heavier snow. Right now, our forecast model is picking that up again just in the southern half of the Nebraska Panhandle and uh, maybe over towards Kimball and back up to Harrisburg, then uh, back into central portions of Morrill County. Again, we'll have to keep an eye where that heavier band sets up but certainly some indications are there may be more than two to four inches of snow. It's going to be partly cloudy early, snow showers developing overnight, lows down into the mid-teens tomorrow, snow of varying intensities, heaviest I think south of the North Platte River. We'll see accumulating snow though I think for most of us tomorrow. Highs only in the lower 20s, it's still going to be cold on Wednesday, highs only in the mid-20s with some clouds in the morning and then afternoon sun. Halloween comes in frighteningly cold, it's going to be a cold night uh, Friday night or Thursday night into Friday morning. Another cold night out there. So bundle up if you're going trick or treating Friday only near 40. We'll get into the mid 40s Saturday. Sunday looks like a nice day as we may climb back into the low 50s. And once we get through this system, uh, we're going to retreat the Arctic air back a ways and keep the chances of snow to a minimum over the rest of the week. Meet Toberfest. The famous once-a-year sandwich celebration of all things beer, cheese, mustard, and pretzel roll now happening all over the world in America in Arby's. Arby's, we have the meats. 
Foxview General Hospital continues our mission to lead and innovate in healthcare delivery and community wellness. But this isn't just a hospital. This is home to exceptional patient care. This is the greatest place to work, receive care, and practice medicine. This is innovation in action. This is community wellness. This is where specialty clinics fit your needs. This is where a friendly smile, a warm hand, and an empathetic ear exist to care for you. We are Box Butte General Hospital. This is us. Great things are happening here since 1976. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing. Welcome back everyone. An arraignment hearing has been set for Tuesday for a former Goshen County District Court clerk facing six charges of felony theft. Goshen County Attorney Eric Boyer says Kathy Rickard is alleged to have stolen more than $120,000 in court-held funds between 2016 and 2018. The charges stem from an investigation by the Wyoming Attorney General's Division of Criminal Investigation, which was requested by the Goshen County Attorney's Office in January. Rickard resigned her post the following month. If Rickard is found guilty, each of the felony theft charges is punishable by up to 10 years in prison, a $10,000 fine, or both. Boyer says the county will seek restitution in the case, which has been assigned to a special prosecutor. An October 29th preliminary hearing has been set for a Scotts Bluff teen accused of firing shots at a residence and a vehicle last week. The 17-year-old male is charged with three felonies, two counts of unlawful or intentional discharge of a firearm, and using a firearm to commit a felony following investigation of the incident early last Thursday morning. Investigators responded to a call of shots fired shortly before 2.30 a.m. at a residence in the 2700 block of West 35th Street. Discovering several 9mm rounds had been fired at a residence and a vehicle with people inside each. A male juvenile victim told investigators he had been texting a female to come to the residence. And when investigators contacted that female, she told them her boyfriend was using her phone to talk with the victim and had previously threatened violence toward other males who speak to her. Bond in the case set at 10% of $500,000. Volunteers running the Cat and Pup Pack Backpack Food Programs are in a situation they've never encountered before. According to Missy Ayasillo, Cat Pack Coordinator, the food and security program only has enough funds to continue operations through December, the first time she's encountered the situation since she took over the post five years ago. Ayasillo tells KNEB News demand for the program and services are at an all-time high. Typically, our numbers start out slower at the beginning of the year and they build up to the numbers um, that we started with this year. Last year, we ended about 140. Um, but usually we start out in Scotts Bluff, we start out about 50 or 60 and we inch our way up. Well, we started first week out, we were at 140 and gearing is currently at about 80. To help the program remain stable and in operation, a GoFundMe page has been set up by two entities of the Holiday family of companies. Adam's Pumpkin Patch admission was half off this past weekend with a food donation. Fresh Foods is offering peanut butter for 99 cents that people can donate, and a spirit towel fundraiser is taking place during the first playoff game involving Scott's Bluff this week. Once a week, the program distributes food to children for the weekend for a cost of about $5 per package, and Ayasillo says even at its current level, it doesn't reach every household that may be facing food insecurity. Well, coming up, Chris Cottrell will be in with the latest from the sports desk. He'll be back with that right after this on KNEB.TV News. We've been an Alla customer from the beginning, 15 plus years. Almost 15 years. 15 years now. They live here, they work here, they give back to our community. That's very important to us. It's the difference of night and day between our old internet provider and Allo. Having that reliability and that speed is extremely important. Nobody matches that speed. It was a game changer. Allo came to my site and helped me resolve an issue. At that point, I knew Allo was the company that I wanted to stick with. Bye, Mom. Have fun. Maybe next weekend. Don't put off till next weekend where you can enjoy doing today. 
With the affordable John Deere 3E Series, you can handle any job on your property and turn that chore list from to do to done. Looks like we had nothing to worry about. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Sometimes events in life are planned. Others, a happy surprise. No matter what life change you're navigating, whether you're getting married or just want a bigger yard for your pup, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Retirement, a new season in life where you can change how you live it. And something easier, convenient, that feels just right. When it's time, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte. The bank to think of first. A fall sports season of championships for the Panhandle continued late last week, plus more postseason action arriving throughout this week. Let's get to today's update. First, a brand new banner will be over at Gearing sometime soon. That will be on the way courtesy of the girls' cross-country team as they captured the Class B title this past Friday afternoon. What a dominant effort as the Bulldogs go second, third, and fourth in the individual standings. Race strategy was huge in this one. I encourage you to listen to Coach Rick Merez's interview posted at KNEB.com to hear how they pulled off the near-perfect race for the team goal, not only the big finishes from Romy, Patton, and Seiler, but they did it with the team concept front and center. Gearing girls cross country and two weeks back, the Scotts Bluff girls golf team, both now with state titles this fall. Got a few highlights to roll through from the Scotts Bluff slugfest down at McCook on Friday night. Scotts Bluff looking to lock up the top spot in the playoffs. And how about this start to the game as star quarterback Sebastian Harsh runs out of the heavy formation down the sideline. An 86-yard touchdown right out of the gate. First play from scrimmage. Now another scoring drive for the Cats to go up 13-0 in the first quarter as Harsh out of heavy again gets deep into the red zone. And then he caps off the drive with a one-yard plunge. Scott's Bluff in control. Harsh, though, would leave with a knee injury late second quarter and would not return. Second half in McCook up 14-13. The Cats' defense starts to take control. Jack Darnell the stop for a loss. And now fourth quarter, Josiah Diolis busts across and Scott's Bluff forces the fumble on the option pinch. That sets up this. Backup quarterback Brett Hill with ice in his veins in the final few minutes connects with Darnell on the deep post route for six. As Scott's Bluff goes in front, 21-14. Some nervous moments late, but the Cats survive on the road and they get the stop for the Class B playoffs. They will be the top seed coming up. They'll host Alliance on Friday night at 7. The Bulldogs able to sneak in as the 16 seed after a home win over Lexington. You see the other playoff teams from the region there, and we'll cover that moral game on Thursday afternoon at Fullerton in the D1 bracket. And postseason volleyball starts tonight for Area C and D teams, and then tomorrow it's the Class B8 sub-district tournament down at Sydney. I'll have both matches radio only starting at 445 with first serve for the opener at 5. Winners will play on Wednesday night for the title. Sydney and Alliance are comfortably in the top 16 with regards to a district final this weekend, and Gearing currently sits at number 15 in the PowerPoints coverage tomorrow, and then if Gearing or Scotts Bluff would win coverage of the title match on Wednesday. That's the latest today from the First National Bank Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. We'll have more coming up right here on KNEB.TV right after this. You said yes. Together, you planned every detail. You married. And then you realized 500 square feet just isn't enough room for two. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. You decide to add another to your family. You start reading parenting books. You're amazed that such a small human could need so much space. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Did the extreme weather this summer do damage to your home? 
Call Roofing Plus today. Let Luke Shaneman and his team get your home back and family back to normal. Licensed and insured, call Roofing Plus today and Luke will get you scheduled for your free and easy inspection and see if you qualify for a new roof, siding, or gutters. The Roofing Plus team can be there in days, not months. Call Roofing Plus today, 308-440-6387. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. And let's take a look at today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Fly United Airlines, operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver and a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today. Plus, all United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flight. Finally, while visiting Western Nebraska Regional Airport, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport local lending. We're here for you from start to finish. Keeping money in our economy. Supporting local jobs. Giving back to our community. Investing in entrepreneurship. Making our quiet towns a destination. At Platte Valley Bank, we support local because we are local. And finally tonight, a pizzeria in Wyoming is stocking up ahead of a jump in the cost of Parmesan cheese from Italy. Pizza Corello and Gillette usually ordering one big wheel of Parmesan at a time, but recently purchased five. Restaurant co-owner Ariane Jimison says she expects the price of Parmesan to go up due to a 25% tariff on European Union products, including wine, olive oil, and cheese that was imposed due to EU subsidies for Airbus, the European aircraft manufacturer. Each Parmesan wheel Jimison orders sells for about $900. She says she would have bought more, but only five were available. Well, that does it for us today. Thank you very much for joining us and tuning in. We'll see you here next time.